In this video, I will provide you with a couple of ways that you can design an eyebrow type of arch or geometrical design for architecture. These are commonly used for roof dormers. And when I say commonly used, um, they aren't easy to build. Uh, it's a little tough for the drywaller, uh, framer, and roofer. And sometimes if you don't give the roofers enough um, or at least as least amount of slope as you possibly can. If you put too big of an arc in these babies, they are going to be difficult. Uh, they're going to make the roofers job hard to actually do. And when I say do, um, sometimes they don't look very nice. So give that some thought if you are going to design one of these for a roof. And I'm going to try and in the future make a video on these types of dormers also so links at the end of the video to a playlist for different types of arches and in the video description box there will be a link to our website in the and that'll be for the arches arch section of the website designing and how to actually lay them out and cut them so let's go ahead and get started now with this one here i kind of wanted to give you an idea and this will make more sense later on in the video. What we're going to do with this is draw two circles. And you can make them different sizes. But you can draw two circles. And then you're basically going to be turning it. So you're not going to do this with your plywood. But I just kind of wanted to throw this out there to see what you were basically doing. And again, I'm trying to make it as simple as I possibly can. So after we turned it, you can see where we got our two, our two circles here. And we've got a nice straight line for our eyebrow. You're going to want another circle on the other side. And then once we remove some of this stuff, it starts to make sense. You just cut out the arch here or the eyebrow type of design. So this one you can see is just made with three circles. We got a circle in the center and a circle on each side. Now in our second example, if I haven't confused you enough in the first one, this one here might be a little easier. So you will draw a circle in the center. And again here, this is a four by eight sheet of plywood. Uh, two foot and four foot and you can move these you don't have to do what I'm doing here I'm just kind of giving you an idea but in this one we're going to get we're going to draw another circle and these can be different sizes I'm just using this one here if you want to have a a larger swoop here you can make a use a larger circle if you want something smaller use a smaller circle so we're going to use a circle with a 10 inch radius. This is going to be 20 inches wide. And I believe this is 15 inches here. We've got a 15 inch and a 10 inch radius on each one of them. You can see right here where it's 10 inches from the center. And then we went ahead and cut it out. And you can see right here, it's just a round piece that we cut out. Now, you don't have to use the whole thing. You can cut half of a circle, a little bit, uh, maybe a third of a circle, even a quarter of a circle, if that's going to be enough for your project. After that, we are going to move it to the plywood. And again, you're just going to set it on top of your plywood you're using to create your template and you'll simply slide it into the proper location which of course would be touching this line and this line here now if you were going to use this but you wanted to lower this line or raise it you would simply make that adjustment also so to make something like this you could lower this line and then if you had a line two inches below you would just take and connect this point to the point wherever the line you are going to be using. After you have made your mark, you can simply slide the round template over to the other side, make your mark, and then you are ready to cut it out. There is your eyebrow shape. In our last example, I'm going to use two circles that are going to be the same size. They're going to have a 10 inch radius. Simply draw the other circle or use your template. 
next circle is drawn in. Now we can start to see where we're starting to get our shape here. And of course the eyebrow. And you can see where this one is a lot smaller. But if this was the, the style you were looking for, you wanted it to, to be more like this, then you could actually use the same size circles. Just make them a little larger or smaller if needed. So I hope it helps. Don't forget to check out the links um, at the end for more arches.